we're going to talk about the alternating relay, which is made by Macromatic. Uh, it's used in a ton of commercial and industrial applications. Uh, our specifically is septic system, where we're using duplex pumps or two pumps. Uh, what the alternating relay does is it allows you to alternate the responsibility from pump to pump so that you're not running both pumps at the same time. Uh, it allows you to take one out of service for maintenance or repairs if you need to, uh, or just to, to lock one in and use one side because of runtime or hours or whatever your reason may be. Uh, but most normal applications, it's set to, set to alternate. Uh, and then in those circumstances that, that we just discussed, you're gonna lock one in or the other. So that's accomplished by the switch that's located on the, the top of the alternating relay. See if you can get a view of it. So the, the load one, and there's an LED next to it. There's load two down here. There's an LED next to it. And when that LED is lit, that tells you that, that load is now powered or energized. Uh, this does allow you to move the toggle switch and place it to lock in load one or move it all the way down to lock in load two. Uh, most applications, again, are going to stay in alternate. Uh, it uses the same octal based design is the, the Omron timer, real common, real common interface for panels. Um, so just like before, uh, we're going to inspect these first, uh, make sure it's not dirty, bent, corroded, missing, anything like that. If we can, if we can fix it by cleaning them or gently moving them, great. If not, we're, we're not going to resume with testing because well, we don't want to damage our, our test box. So once we've confirmed that's good, we'll go ahead and insert it straight into the base. Uh, it's going to be straight down and make sure it's a good fit. Uh, so right now it's in, it's in load one. It's, uh, it's prepared to go. Uh, we have our control switch, which is in the off position. And what that simulates is a float or some sort of signal from a timer uh, saying, okay, I, I, I need to pump now or I need to do whatever purpose now. Uh, so being an alternate, once we turn this switch on, we're going to see that power turn on between load one and load two. So we'll go ahead and we'll turn that on. So we're in load one and we now have 120 volts uh, and it's going to stay in this condition until that float or that timer or whatever device it is tells it to stop. And once we turn that off, once the system said, hey, I've had enough, we can go ahead and stop now, it's going to turn off, and you're going to see that it's going to flip to load two in preparation for, this, for the next cycle. So we'll do that now. We're going to turn it off. We've lost voltage, and now it's, it's sitting in load two instead of load one, and it's, it's in standby. It's, it's, it's ready for the next, next cycle. So again, once we turn that on, it's going to do the same thing. Now on load two, we're going to show roughly 120 volts here, and load two is lit up. Uh, so same thing. Uh, you can turn it off. It's going to flip back to load one in preparation. You're going to turn it on. You're going to see 120 volts or so here. Uh, and that's basically how it works. So I'll show you how it works when you lock in a load. So now we're, it's already in load two. If you lock in load two, or yeah, lock in load two, sorry. Uh, when you turn it on, load two stays energized and we have 120 volts shown. So if you recall, when we turned this off before, when it was an alternate, it would flip to lock one or load one, sorry, uh, in preparation for the next cycle. Uh, but since we've locked it in, that's not gonna happen. So we'll turn it off, but it's gonna stay at load two. Uh, Load one is, is it's out of commission because you've, you've told it so. So when we turn it back on, it's going to be the same thing. We see voltage on load two, and it's just going to stay there. And the exact same thing happens if you lock in load one. It's going to just cycle load one on and off and leave two out of it. So we'll turn that off, and that concludes the test of it. If you have any questions, reach out to your manager, and they'll get you sorted out.